Alright, I know I'm really late to this one, but I have been meaning to watch this movie for months, and I finally got around to it, and honestly, it was worth every minute I waited because this movie was absolutely fantastic. That movie, of course, being Blackberry, the sort of biopic, since it's not really focused on one thing, but as the brand of the rise and fall of the BlackBerry phone. It's not really focused on the CEOs as much as it is on the actual product. And my goodness, is this film fantastic. It is such a great story depicting the rise and fall of a revolutionary creation and invention. A tale of... N not going against your own morals. It's phenomenal. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much the story. I just went on a little bit of a tangent talking about, like, the themes. And that's pretty much what the story is. It is split up into three parts. The inception, the, the middle ages when they were at attempting to reach the peak of their powers, and then the collapse. And it is breathtaking. The ending had me on the edge of my seat for no real reason, but it was great. It was phenomenal time. That is a hand grenade if I've ever seen it. Um, Cinematics-wise, there wasn't too much. The movie was pretty funny. Um, at points, there was some good visuals, but it was very, like, not focused on the visuals, but it was really focused on the storytelling. And so, like, the whole cinematic experience of it all um, isn't really there, which makes sense because I read that this was originally a miniseries, and it has then since been turned into a miniseries, but I still watched the film version. Um, but yeah, so cinematics will be a Hot pocket score, but the directing is phenomenal. I really liked some of the directing ideas in this film, although I must say that it did feel a little bit of like a mockumentary type deal, but they never really played into it at the same time, so it was just interesting to see that directing style, but not actually be a mockumentary, so I really enjoyed that uh, take on it as well. Um, so that's a hand grenade score. And now the acting. My goodness, the acting in this film is amazing. Jay Baruchel and Glenn Howerton are phenomenal in their roles. Glenn, especially, is such a breakout standout in this film that I'm kind of surprised he's not in more movies. Like, I know he's in a lot of TV shows, but how's he not in more movies? And I think Thinking back on it now, I'm like, wait, there's a reason why he's not in more movies. He's in all he's in Always Sunny, and that takes up a lot of time. But yeah, it's just impressive to see that man in his like this very serious role. And like it's incredible, honestly. I now understand all the Reed Richards fan casts I've seen of Glenn Howerton. And I agree wholeheartedly with them, even more so now. But acting is a solid hand grenade score. Uh, expectations and experience, it surpassed even my highest of expectations. This was a phenomenal film. And I must say that it is in my top 10 of the year. Um, and I will probably defend it till my dying breath that it should be a top 10 of 2023. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much all I have to say about this film. It is so good. I don't want to explain to you how good it is. Um, but yeah, if you're still watching, leave a like, subscribe, comment down below if you check this out, and uh, comment down below if you had a BlackBerry. Um, but yeah, other than that, I'll leave you guys to it.